Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome back to Uncle Asni channel. Okay, for this week, we are going to learn about new tools called Google Docs. Okay? Most of you are familiar with this because in the time you have done homework and all that using this. But today, we are going to learn about an exciting features of these tools. Okay, first of all, as usual, we have to go into this Google Doc. You just type in Google Doc free. Okay, make sure it's Google Docs free. Not this one. This one is for business. This is Google Docs free online documents for personal use as usual I wanted to press go to Google Docs personal and you have to choose your own accounts next Okay, we have to key in your password again. Okay, here we go. We are at the first Google Docs document. If you are new to Google Docs, close. All right. If you look into the structure of Google Docs, it is almost the same with the other popular documents tools that is Microsoft Words okay there are things like if you want to write something okay you can do things like bold and make it center and you can even change the size but, but first make sure you highlight the words that you want to change for example you want to change this one into bigger size All right so this is how you do it Okay, you can explore there are so many things you can do with Google Docs change like underline changing the color and all that okay so this one is quite familiar I let I let you do all the exploring but that is not what we are going to learn today okay the things that you are going to learn today is how we can import or take the element from other Google's for example Google's forms and Google sheet and we put it into this Google Docs okay what I'm going to do is we want to import the chart from Google sheet and Google's form into this so we are going to have a report in one place all right so how to do that actually it's quite simple okay i want you to first save this first documents of yours by pressing this untitled document okay automatically this thing returns into my school report because it follow this thing so you can change your other name also okay and you press this blue square and you will be brought to this main screen of Google Docs it looks familiar right the only thing is this thing is for Google Docs okay I want you to press these three lines not three dots three lines at the 
upper left hand corner and you see we have a lots of menu over here we have the familiar seeds that we have learned last week and we also have forms that we have learned when we first explore into this google suite okay i wanted to press google seeds okay and do you still remember last time we have made this student numbers sheet in google sheet okay i wanted to press this thing this one look familiar right because we have did it last week okay i wanted to do this okay click on the chart that you have made go into edit press edit and i want you to press copy you can either press copy this way or you can also use the key control plus c okay it doesn't matter okay you can press this thing copy or you can without opening the menu you can press control c is the same features control c is much more faster it's a shortcut okay i just use this copy all right good make sure you click on the chat itself go into edit and copy and i wanted to press this green square google sheets homes all right and i wanted to press these three lines again at the upper left hand corner press this three line and go into your google docs back okay i wanted to open the documents that you have created before is over here not blank it's over here the one that you have created in the first place and i wanted to put your cursor over here you see this, this one is at the beginning this one is at the end i wanted to press it put your cursor over here and press enter make sure this one is below your title make sure your cursor is below my school report okay and i want you to press paste you can either press Control v or you can go here edit and paste okay we have two types of pasting one is we have a link to the spreadsheet that means if anything change in the spreadsheet it will be changed in the graph or in the chart that we have pasted here in docs okay we, if we paste it as unlinked that means the one that you have been pasting will be freeze that means it won't change okay it is just like pasting something a picture okay okay i just explain it once more link to spreadsheet that means your chat will keep on changing as long as you change the numbers in your spreadsheet in your google sheet but if you use paste and link your chat will be freeze that means it won't change okay okay let's say i want to make it dynamic so that means when anything change in google sheet will be reflected here okay i just press paste here we go you have your chat that you have been created in your google sheet here in google docs how nice is that All right so actually you can do things like reports and all that okay okay once you paste it okay i want you to do something like this okay okay select 
the chart that you have just pasted and you can see this menu over here okay i want you to press this break text that means the text that we add will be put at the up at the beginning and at the end of the chart okay i just press this thing break text so we have things over here okay i wanted to write it over here okay okay we undo first okay undo because i put my cursor over here what because i want to write in over here okay okay this one is for undo if you have do something wrong you can undo it but make sure you put your cursor over here not at the upper at the upper level i want you to put your cursor over here just below the chart here all right and i want you to write something for example okay i just paste the one that i have been doing okay okay this is the thing that i have been writing before so i just change the size okay into 12 all right and i unbolt it and i just make it as left justified press into here alignment okay press here all right good 